get up out of here. And we're gonna get into this one right here. Speed Falcons for Life. Do you think we should tank? Oh, to make sure we're in the top ten? Huh. I'm about to answer your question right here, boss. Because actually the next one is should we tank the season? You see how that played right in hand? It played right in hand. That comment came right in time, didn't it, man? Right in time. Some people, so, like Jesus said, some people call it luck. We call it perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> and we like, we just want to say that we appreciate y'all watching. You know, you're watching the A, the T, the I, the E, the N, the S, what zone. Hold <laughs> up, what zone. Appreciate it. And what you're saying, man, they can be anywhere. Say it again. Hey, y'all can be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. So thank y'all so much for chilling out with a country boy. And the city boy, man. We really appreciate hey, it. Hit that subscribe button on Atlanta Falcons Nation. Hit that subscribe button on Terry 404. My link is in the chat. His link in the chat, too. Go go help who out? Go help the country boy out, man. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to tell y'all. What in the world? Because the fact of the matter is, on Friday night, we do a Friday night film study. So y'all make sure that y'all come on, chill out with us. And, you know, you can sit down. Look, y'all actually going to be in the film, in the film room. With the coach. Y'all gonna be in the coach's room with the coach. Coach Big Low Country. So y'all make sure that y'all check it out. And I forgot, I'm also putting my, my link in the description here so y'all can check out some more film study in the future, okay? Yes, uh, so do you think the Falcons should tank? Uh, I think it may be one of those situations where we may not have a choice. You think so? Explain. Mm -hmm. Elaborate. I, I feel like I feel like we we may not we, we might not have to try to lose these games. We might just lose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm gonna say this: This is when the Falcons gonna win. Watch. <laughs> yeah, never, it never fail. But why, never why, fail. why? But why do you say that? Who who we got coming up? We got the Chargers. They ain't a pushover. Then we have the Bucks twice, and if I can't forget it, we got Kansas City. Yep. Yeah. And to the um, Chargers fan that was in, the, in this chat with us, don't forget to hit us up at atlianesportszone at gmail.com. Uh, so that's all you got to say about the tank of the season, you know? Yeah. yeah I don't, about I don't. It, well, look, all I'm saying is that uh, to get a top 10 pick or a top 5 pick, I don't think I don't think we're gonna have to tank. I think if we go out and play ball the same way we've been playing ball these last <laughs> last twelve weeks, it, it might just happen. So like nah, like and we know we all know the kind of team that or the kind of organization that the Falcons are. Like Arthur Blank, he's one of those. He he's a quality guy, so he's gonna say, "Look, y'all y'all ain't finna do nothing halfway. Y'all finna play ball the same way that y'all uh, play ball whenever." We had hopes of winning at the beginning of the season. You know, so <laughs> the O and Fivers? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, me, I mean, I think I'm gonna have to piggyback and go right with you, Lo. I just don't think that I don't think they're gonna go in like, oh, we should tank, but with the teams we playing, we might only win one. Like, like speed um Falcons for Life right here said. We are going to beat the Chargers and lose to the Bucks twice and the Chiefs five and eleven season. Do you think that's how it's going to play out, Low? I I don't think we're going to beat the Chargers. I don't think we, I don't think we're going to beat the Chargers. I think I think we're going to lose to the Chiefs and beat the Bucks once, but I don't think we're going to beat the Chargers. So what what wait, hold on. We're gonna get into that later on, later on. And I I think I agree with Speed Falcons for life. Uh, I think our best chance to win is versus the Chargers. That that's that's just how I feel, man, because the Bucks is pretty tough too. Even though we know that we can hang with them, but the dirt cutter will happen. <laughs> The dirt cutter moment will happen, man. So, so my my thing is about it, man. They're all pros, right, y'all? They're all pros. 
Yeah. So they're not going to have that mentality that we should just tank this season. But the way they've been playing, it's, it's like they've been thinking about tanking the whole time. <laughs> so I was just like, y'all might as well continue to play. The way y'all been playing, it don't change nothing. Just don't change nothing. Get out this season. I'm so tired of this season. You know what? 2020, the whole COVID thing is exactly how this season, the Falcon season is COVID. Put it like that. It's just all bad and messed up right now. But we're looking for 2021 to be big and better. Ain't we right, Low? Oh, yeah. Every year, we're going to try to be, every year, we're going to try to bring it. We bring it to your front, though, every year. So, like this year, it ain't, but look, next year, we're going we're gonna to try to do it big, man. What's up, Fred Moore Jr.? What's going on? ATL and his piece of eight time down. You already know what it is, man. Oh, no, yeah. Fred, Fred. We forgot. We forgot. What's our annual thing to do? Hey, man, throw them area codes in the chat, man. Where you from? Y'all let us know where y'all from. Y'all put them area codes in the chat. We want to know where y'all from because we want to know where the love coming from. So y'all put the area codes in the chat, man. Y'all already know. Y'all know what the tradition is. Y'all already know. <laughs> they already know. Hey, but um, Anthony Wright says Julio Jones is 229 yards. Away, I mean, yards from another 1,000 season. Kevin really is 95 yards away from his first thousand yard season. Shoot, uh, you think they gonna get it? Oh, you yeah, they man. both gonna oh, grab yeah. it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they gonna get it. Julio tried to be one of the best to ever do it, so we all know how competitive Julio is, and I'm sure Julio's like, Well, I gotta get another thousand yard season. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, tenure, right? Yeah, like, come on. Like, we all know. I mean, if it was me, that's what I'd be thinking. I'd be like, look, y'all, we might not lose. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this G on them right quick. I, I already know. Joshua Johnson said, I think y'all would get into a shootout with the Chiefs. Defense can be suspect at times. What you think about that, Coach? Then I'm gonna elaborate on that. Uh, Joshua, I think I think we have the potential to go into a shootout with the Chiefs, but it depends on what type of play calling we're going to be doing offensively. If we get stagnant and if we start running this pond water offense like we've been running like these last few weeks, we're not. It's not going to be no shootout. It's not going to be no shootout. All right, we'll put up a good fight. On offense, I mean on defense, and we'll try to slow them down, and we'll put up seven, we'll put up 18, 19 points, you know, because Ku's gonna be kicking so many field goals, his legs gonna fall off. But and and then it's like Matt might throw a touchdown, but we're gonna keep getting into that red zone and not putting up points. Next thing you know, oh man, we left 16 points on the board because Ku kicked four field goals. <laughs> So, oh man, I don't think we're gonna get into a shootout with the Chiefs, bro, because of DK. No, I'm not talking about Donkey Kong. You know, not 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 way back then, not Donkey Kong. But I'm talking <laughs> about <laughs> I'm talking about Dirt Cutter, man. I don't think I don't think so, man. I, I just lost all uh, you know faith in in him, man. And Michael Walker says, speaking about free agency. Should we draft to go after Earl Thomas for two years, despite attitude and um, the youngest can learn from him? What do you think about that, coach? Because you've been in a locker room, coach. What? What? What are they gonna? They gonna learn how to fight from him? They need it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, not, not, not the not the fighting portion, but the 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 you know the toughness. But go ahead, man. I'm just joking. Y'all. Man, they ain't gonna learn how to like. Look, Earl Thomas, he's not on the team right now for a reason. All these NFL teams, to a certain extent, they don't they don't even care. Like, to a certain extent, they don't care what you're doing. Like, Greg Hardy was out here tying people up. And he was still getting signed by the Cowboys. Kareem Hunt was over here kicking kicking women. And he was getting signed by the by the Browns. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Antonio Brown, like throwing packages out the out of the, the delivery truck. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> the NFL, these guys don't even care, man. Earl Thomas isn't on a roster for a reason. There's a so reason he's not on a roster. 
and Ray Rice probably somewhere like, what do I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, William Amy says we need Greg Knapp. What you think about that, Coach? I mean, yeah. And, and, and you know what? Like, whenever everybody, whenever everybody like always talks about like, you know, we need this guy and we need that guy. As as far as coaching, I, I'm one of those people who I believe that like I gotta sit down and talk with them. Like I wanna sit down, like we, we could look and see, like we could look at Eric Bienemy's offense in Kansas City and say, Oh man, they're just throwing, you know, bombs and they're putting up 40 points a game. But it, it's like it's like I always say, football is just like life. You know, it it all depends on the circumstances to determine, you know, what you are and what you have the potential to do. Now, so whenever it's one of those situations where, oh, yeah, we need to get Greg Knapp. Like, we, we don't know what Greg Knapp's philosophy is. He could be a jerk and say, well, look, we've been at those three state passes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't yeah. know. So I don't believe we need Greg Knapp's either. I just want anybody that can make this offense percolate. That's it. I don't care. You can be you can be from the bluff. If you, if you can call better blaze and dirt cutter, come on, cause you got a chance. Eric Snow, yeah. where you at? Snow, come on, give, <laughs> give, give, give a brother a chance, man. But Devon, uh, Devon Stanford, which made me laugh right here, said we give on our time, but he can stay where Jesus need him at. Great, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, great, Nap is our what um quarterback. Coach or what is um yeah. right position with the Falcons quarterback coach right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a quarterback coach for a while, and yeah. um, yeah, and um, and I, I'm sorry, y'all. I know that we uh, we we got to make sure. I appreciate everybody for putting those area codes in there. Um, let's thank y'all. So let's much. go ahead and get to some of those, man. While we got you time, know, man. We can, yeah, we can get to some of those. So we got a 504 guy in here, uh, Mr. JTL, 1975. Thanks for watching. Um, I have we got, uh, Amy. You got well, yeah, Amy, 912 in the building. 912, Asia Green for Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville, what's happening? Then you got Devon Stanford from Foresight. Foresight, Georgia. <laughs> in the middle. Uh, we got, got Mr. Brian Peoples here from South Carolina, Lamar, South Carolina. That's Lamar. We just say Lamar in the South. <laughs> and somebody spread it out perfectly. The foe. Oh, foe. You <laughs> <did that? laughs> and what's up? Wallace Smith. You know, Wallace Smith. Oh. Hey, from Georgia. Get it. Y'all already know what time it is. Georgia Southern. Y'all already know. Get it. <laughs> And then we got Ezekiel King. He didn't put in the air cover. What's up? What's happening, man? If you're still watching, man. What's good, yeah, So we can get into one more, one more. Um, to, uh, do you find anybody Ice else? Did we get them off of them? It's Ice and Ness from the 315, Trey 15. Hey. Hey, man, yeah, I, 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 want, I want to shout out to um, uh, that fan that was from the that fan that was from Statesboro, there was a yeah. famous coach who, uh, you know, he's near and dear to everybody's hearts. His name is Ert Russell, Mr. Wilder mm -hmm. Smith. Ert Russell, uh, he said that, you know, look, guys, if you if you say your prayers, you treat people nice, you say yes, ma'am, but no, ma'am, when you die, you might go to Statesboro, Georgia. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's happening. 